Okay, so here is our kidney. Um, it's got this typical lovely kidney shape to it. And you can see that this bit here is where all the uh, vessels are gonna come in and out. So you're gonna have the renal artery supplying blood in to the kidney here. The renal vein will also come back out here. Uh, and then the ureter will leave here carrying the urine. Okay, we can't quite see they've all been trimmed off, but that's where they're gonna come in and out. Sometimes on top of the kidney, you might find some, uh, some fat, but that's also been removed already. And the adrenal gland, sometimes a sort of squidgy white looking structure is also sometimes seen amongst some of that fat, but we don't have any here. Surrounding the kidney is a kind of a membrane, it's almost like a sort of cellophane wrapping really, called uh, the capsule. I'm gonna cut now longitudinally down the, this back edge of the kidney to try and open it up in half and to try and see these two halves of the kidney. Okay, so as I'm starting to cut in, we're gonna see two layers, two distinct different layers in the kidney. The first one we'll see is the cortex, the outer cortex, which has got this kind of brown color to it. We can just see it there. And as we go deeper into the kidney, we're going to see the inner layer, which is known as the medulla, which is a lot pinker. Okay, great, so we've opened up the kidney sort of in these halves and you, hopefully you can see this outer section here uh, is the cortex and then it goes down into this pinker area here and then this white-ish area in the middle is called the pelvis. And this is where the urine is all going to funnel down and collect in here and in the middle we should have the hole here which is going to be the ureter which is where all that urine is going to, is going to come out of at the end. So if I start pulling away some of this medulla, you're gonna see uh, some white, what are called calices. There's one there, there's another one. There we are. So you can see here, these, this pink bit of medulla that comes down in a triangle shape is called a pyramid and these white bits here, the calices. So as the urine is, is filtered, it will trickle into the calices, go down, fill up the pelvis, and then exit via the ureter. Now the kidney, the way it works is that there are about a million tiny little tubules in this kidney called nephrons. The nephrons start out here at the cortex and under high pressure, uh, the fluid is filtered out of the blood. Okay, uh, and then that fluid, that glomerular filtrate, as we call it, will pass through this long wiggly tube called the nephron. Now these nephrons are microscopic, but with a little bit of uh, hydrogen peroxide, I can hopefully show you where they would be. Okay, hydrogen peroxide gets broken down by the enzyme catalase, and when it does, which is found in this tissue here, when it does get broken down, it produces oxygen bubbles, which you can see forming, um, and some water. Uh, but those oxygen bubbles get trapped inside these nephrons, and it's a way for us to be able to just show you a little bit of where they are. So what you'll see is a little sort of bit of a stripy appearance on uh, the, especially the outer part here of the kidney, uh, and, and as it flows down in towards the medulla. So what I'm going to do now is just continue to cut this through in half. And hopefully here you can see the sort of typical kidney shape. Uh, and the cortex, the medulla, the pyramids and the pelvis.